Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Cindy. Uh, today I have a small tutorial for how to use uh, safety pins. So first of all, I know this is so late, but I meant to post it earlier before 4th of July. But I mean, you can always use it for Christmas, you can use it for Halloween, Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever. But I'm just gonna show you really quick the one for 4th of July for next year. So another way to use our safety pins. So here's a small one. This is one of uh, the things that my friend made at my co-worker she gave me a tons tons of beads and this was in her box so I asked her how to do it and I'm gonna show you it's very easy so she made this tiny one and as you can see so blue and then uh, red and white and I made this one and it has the white in there so of course you need um, safety pins and then you'll need 11 of them and uh, this is good a good easy project for anyone to do it's very easy I, I couldn't believe how easy it was but so I'm gonna go ahead and show you so first you can get any size of safety pin you like any color of beads any anything you like so for 4th of July I'm just gonna use uh, the red white and blue so to start off I'm gonna um, show you how to um, put the beads in the safety pin and a hint if you're gonna start off with the color red it must end with red so it, so it can match if you're gonna start with color white it must end with white so it can match and vice versa the same for the other ones so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna open our safety pin and we're gonna start and we're gonna make the red and white so I'm gonna get a little uh, bead and start beading very easy and we're just gonna alternate red and white red and white red and white I don't know if someone has done this already. I'm very sorry. I did not even check to see if anyone has done it before. But um, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Some beads do not fit and uh, fit in the uh, safety pin, and it's okay. You can just get another uh, bead that will fit. Oh gosh. It's like I have slippery hands today. Butterfingers, butterfingers. Okay, those don't fit either. Oh my god, keep falling. Okay, but you get the idea. So alternate red and white, red and white, red and white. So as you can see, I'm already done. And I started with red and ended with red. So we're just gonna have a little piece of safety pin left over. Not sure if you can see it. But with that, we're just gonna close the safety pin just like that and if it doesn't close make sure you look at your other beads to see if there's any big beads because sometimes when you put like I don't know let's say for example a big red bead is, is causing the safety pin not to close so if that's the case you have to take it all out and make sure you put the beads um, put a bead that is a little bit smaller and make sure you use the same size all around okay now I'm gonna do the um, blue and white, blue and white, okay, and uh, and I'll show you how to put it in the safety pin later. So we're gonna start off with blue. So I'm gonna put the blue in. I'm gonna sit down and I hope I'm in frame. Yeah, and I hope my hair doesn't get in the way like last time. So I'm gonna um, alternate it again. And I forgot to tell you that um, you'll need um, three blues for this, three blues for this, and three um, reds. And uh, I believe five whites, but we'll count. So Sorry guys, my camera was out, of, um, was out of memory, so I had to delete some videos, so anywho, so it's three blues and two whites and now we're gonna add a white bead and I very much hope I'm in frame which I'm gonna check okay and then red come on little guy okay won't fit red white Oops, and that happens. They all come off at the same time. It's okay. Okay. 
And uh, of course, you can glue them down with um, with uh, the glue gun if you like, or E6000. To be honest, I hate to use E6000. I don't even know if it works good. I mean, I just hate it. It spills all over the place. It's gross. I don't like that thing. I need one more red. I need to find. I need to look for a skinny, skinny red. Order for my pin so it can close. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a bucket of this ones. Which I lost it. Here it is. Okay, just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna close it. Just like that. And you see how easy that closes? Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five whites, three blues, and three um, um, reds, depending on the size of your safety pin. So now to put them in, so you'll need to make five of these, five of the red and white. And to put it in, you're gonna, so you want them to look face you so what you're gonna do is turn the pin around to face it against you and then you're gonna stick it in this um oh my god this pin here and you're gonna pass it through this through that little ball oh by the way guys I want to get a new camera so if you have any recommendations please let me know I don't care about the pixels or anything like that I just want something that will record and that's it. Two, four, five. Okay, so I have five of these. And now we're gonna put our red, white, and blue. So again, your pin, it's facing you the right way. So you're gonna turn the pin the wrong side, and then on the wrong side, you stick it in inside the safety pin, and I pass it through these little wires. Sorry, my hands are painted, because I'm doing a small project. And I mean, I want to see if it works first so I can show you and make a tutorial on it. Because I'm going to start doing tutorials now because since my kids are out of school, well, I'm a part-time art teacher. So what I mean by kids is my students are out of school, so I'll have more time posting up videos, except the videos takes a long time to upload, so it gets me irritated. That's how it's looking. And I already made this beforehand so you guys won't be bored. So if you like, you can stop here. If you like, you can just make four reds and, and uh, four um, blues. And you can stop here if it's really nice actually, just like that. But I'm going to go ahead and add the fifth one again. It's the right side, you gotta turn it around the wrong side and then you put it through the safety pin. Okay, and there you go. Woohoo! And then it's ready to put on your, this is my shirt, it's ready to put on your clothes. It is good for a nice small gift. Like, I mean, how gorgeous. I mean, it looks so cute. I mean, you can put a little flower right here or a little flower right here, whatever you want to do. I mean, shh. dang, this thing looks so cute. But again, sorry I uploaded this video so late. But here you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And um, let me show you the project I'm working on. So um, I took a Starbucks bottle, took out the entire, took out the... Um, took all the stickers uh, took out all the labels actually from the bottle stickers oh my god took the labels out and um, painted it with blue this um, sea breeze for Michaels and I put washi tape around it use Mod Podge and put a Martha Stewart glitter and then after it dries I'm gonna take out the uh, Wash your tape and see how it comes out.
but we'll see what happens I'm not sure we'll, we'll see and if it works out then I'll make a tutorial on it but again ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching if you guys make this please do a video response if you don't make videos send me ask for my email address and send me um, pictures through there just to see if this was um, you know a fun video to watch not fun video but if it actually if this kind of tutorials will help you um, expand your mind and make things like out of safety pins well thank you so much for watching and have a nice day bye bye